pretty smart, and he's probably gonna trot on past. There he is, there he is! Hello everyone, today we're over by Shunfell and we're going to be using the 243 Ranger on some follow bucks. So I'm going to show you some pretty good spots to find them and I'm also going to show you how to get full integrity on the follow deer. Alright, well that didn't take very long at all. We just found a whole herd of fallow deer here. It looks like a bunch of females, but either way that's still really good. So we always want to look to see if we can't find the male in the area. And if we can't find them, then we get out the call and we'll put a call out, see if anything responds to it. Alright, so you can see we have a bunch of females coming in here and they're all pretty much within 100 meters away from us. So we're going to get out the 243 and we're zeroed in for 150 which is a little bit too high but it's pretty much about the same zeroing you're going to have when you start off in the hunt. So here we have one sitting right out here pretty broadside. We're going to hold it right for the shoulder blade lung area and take a shot. And I think that might have actually been a pretty good shot. Might have been a tad bit high. So let's see if we can't get another one here definitely hit that one good so it's gonna be really hard to get a drop shot on these but at least we'll be able to get a few points and we have a couple of followed here all right so here you can see we have some really good blood so this was the first shot that we took and I would imagine the second one we hit pretty solid too it seemed like we had it on them pretty decent uh, maybe not so oh no that's not the track okay good yeah it would have been a little bit further a little bit further out like somewhere somewhere around here there should be some blood that I'm not really seeing though. Alright, so we have one down right here. And I don't see any sign from the other one that we just hit. Either way, we're going to have to check. As soon as we pick this one up, then we'll go over and go check to see that there's for sure no sign of any blood anywhere around because we don't want to have a harvest value get down. So let's go pick up our first female. You can see we shot a little bit low of the spine, so pretty close to a perfect shot, but not quite. Still got 873 cash and 131 XP and we made a right lung shot on her at 74 meters. Alright that's what I thought. So you can see the blood right here. It's a non-vital hit but I would imagine it should be for sure intestine and it would definitely bring down this fallow deer. They're not that tough and the 243 can do a pretty good job on them. Alright so we actually did find her up here finally. She ran a long way so I would imagine we probably only hit flesh on her. Even though the blood looked pretty decent, I would say we probably hit her in the back hind leg or maybe high in the back, somewhere like that. Let's pick her up and see what happened here. No, that was intestine. So we actually hit her right where I thought, right in the intestine, quartering away at 106 meters. And she ran a long ways, but she was 106 meters away and we got 839 cash, 108 XP, and another fallow deer. So at least we tracked her down and found her to keep our harvest value up to 100%. Alright, so whenever I come across an open field like this, what I'd like to do is scan around the edge of the brush line because you never know if there's something walking or even a herd of them kind of congregating around the edge of these, this uh, woods here. And if I don't see anything, then I basically look around on the ground for tracks to see if I can't find any male tracks in the area. And then what I'll do is I'll track them down and normally it will lead me to a herd. Alright, so we just found another fallow deer and it looks like just one female, but there could be a group of them over there. Alright, so we just got a mating call from them and it looks like there's a few of them coming in. I'm not quite sure if there's a male with them or not, but for right now I can see two females at least. So we'll get ready on one of them. Three females. This might be part of the rest of the herd that we saw from before actually. And we might take off this back one here on the right because she's giving us a pretty good shot for the next spine area. And we took her right down. Perfect shot. Alright, so the other one's just bolted. I didn't expect that to happen, but at least we got one. Made a nice shot on her and she went right down. Alright, so let's pick her up. And, yep, we got spine and neck. So, perfect. We actually got two hit points on her. And she scored 500. Pretty nice female. 918 cash and 150 XP. So, you can see if they're looking at you like that. Pretty much center them and go straight down from the jawline and you'll hit the neck bone or the spine. All right guys, so we just found a follow deer finally. We actually found a buck. So he just called right over here. I didn't get a look at him yet, but we should be able to see him here. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. He looks like a 140 plus, close to 140s at least. So we're gonna put out a call. I know he's headed this direction right now. But 
but he's smart and he's probably going to trot on past. See, I don't actually see him. There he is, there he is. Perfect. We got a spine shot on him. All right, so I was kind of hoping that we weren't holding a little bit too high. I knew he was pretty big, but... Well, he kind of caught me off guard, the fact that he was that big. And we made a nice shot, really nice shot. Got a little bit lucky because I was holding a little bit higher than I would have liked, but still made a nice shot, and we got ourselves a nice follow buck down right here. A real good one. Yeah, he should be gold. I don't see why he wouldn't be. So let's pat down the grass here a little bit, and we can take a nice picture of him. Yeah, it's a little difficult to get a good picture of these guys because their paddle is sideways, so you can only get kind of a broadside picture, but you can't really fit it all in the picture at once, so all you can do is what you can get, and that's it. So we'll go prone and see if this helps, maybe. Yeah, a little bit better. So I'm going to say he's going to be close to 130s. Let's see what he's going to score. 146 gold. Yeah, I had a feeling he was a good one. I didn't even get a spotting estimate on him, but he was smart. He actually busted us as we were coming in to try and spot him. So when you start trotting away like that, a lot of times they don't come back into the call. So I recommend as soon as you have a shot, take that shot instantly because you might not get a second chance. Or you have to track him down for another two hours and then you might get a second chance. But either way, we got an awesome 146 gold fallow buck. We got 1,067 cash and 226 XP. He was a four easy and we took him at 66 meters. So awesome buck and great shot so I'll show you where we ended up getting that fallow buck at pretty much right here is exactly where we were and you can see we're in the woods area these fields haven't been producing very much we were over here before didn't get much action so it seems like all the big bucks are in the woods area and I would probably hunt the edges of the woods it's probably gonna be your best bet alright guys well, we have a female here that just snuck in so we're gonna take her with the hawk edge bow don't really want to spook everything else if there's a potential male as it's been very difficult to find any males we found the one and that was about it and we've been hunting all over this place so I do have a feeling that it has to do with I see another one right there yeah so I do have a feeling that it has to do with how high up and how high leveled up you are and the higher you are up the less chance you're gonna have at finding a nice um, male so that possibly could be it too because I remember the first time I hunted here I got probably like seven or eight males they were just all over the place and now I can't even find a buck it's just all females but I'm not complaining it's just really difficult to find a decent buck I'm very fortunate that we actually got that one before but from right now on, I can't find any more. It seems like that's all we really have here. So let's pick these up. Got double lung on them. Double lung. That's the good thing about getting some cash with the hawk edge bow and these follow deer. You can get a good chunk of cash and they come in and you can get them rather quickly. So we got 892 cash for one female fallow deer. So I can't complain about that. See, we still have some more females, but there's no bucks around. Alright guys, well since this whole area over here wasn't producing very much, we hunted this whole um, grass area all the way along the woods is too, and we couldn't find any other males. I found a bunch of females, but couldn't find any males. So now we're going to go over to my favorite spot for follow bucks, and that is actually right here, kind of along the edge of this thicket here, and along the edge of this riverbed. So we're going to head over there and see if we can't find any nice bucks. Well, I guess I was right because we literally just turned around the corner. We already have a follow buck coming in right now. He's right down over here. Oh, there he is right there. He's not very big, but he's still a follow buck. And that's all that matters. We finally found another buck. He's out there at... Oh my god, there was actually two of them. You're kidding me. There's this tiny one here. And then there was a big one that we just spooked. Oh... All right, so that's the small one there. I don't know where the big one went. Oh, there he is, there he is. I think that's him, I think that's him. I really wish I would have seen him. 
when he was coming in. Well, let's see if we can't call him back in, I guess. So this whole time we were out there in those open fields and we couldn't find any males at all. And we came over here to the thick woods and there we just found two of them within about two minutes. There's a good chance he might come back in because we didn't really shoot and he didn't really see us run or anything like that. We were just sitting here crouched. Actually, we might have even been prone. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. There he is right there. Nice fallow buck. Not a very good angle on him. We're zoomed in way too much on him. All right, we had to go for a spine, shoulder, neck on that, and I think we made a perfect shot. Wow, he came in fast. I was not expecting that. Luckily, we made a nice shot, and we got a nice fallow buck here. Finally, another one. This is another goal potential fallow buck. Now, he might not be quite as big as the other one. He looks to be close to a 120s or 130s buck, but either way, he's still a really good buck. So let's take a look at him and see what he scores. We got silver, a 129 on him, 772. We got spine, right lung, and I guess we missed shoulder blade. Somehow we caught right between the shoulder blade and the lung. So we hit the lung and spine. So perfect shot and another nice fallow buck. We got 1,057 cash and 218 XP for that. What do we have here? We have a red deer crossing. Uh, decent red deer. What do we have to take him with though? We have the 330, that's a little bit big for him. But we don't have much options right now. Oh! Nice shot. Thought we were just a tad too high. But luckily I think we caught Spine. Alright, so let's take a look at him. We got a nice shoulder blade Spine shot on him at 125 and he was 102 so not that big of a stag but still a nice shot and at least we got another male all right guys so we were tracking this phone for quite a while now and we finally just caught up to him and there he is big old fallow buck right out in the middle of these uh i think there's five females out there and one big old fallow buck we were tracking him for a long ways and i couldn't figure out which way he finally went actually i lost his track and what happened is i looked way out here and i saw a small one and now I see this big one way out here. He's trotting way out there. I'm really hoping he slows down or he's going to be out of our render here pretty soon. Oh, thank you. It looked like he just barely slowed down in time. Over here is where the other small one. So I saw this one out here feeding and I thought to myself that maybe this field here would have some fallow in it. And sure enough, there he was out there trotting. He's a really nice one. Four easy, 118 to 177 on him. So we're going to need to make a nice shot. He's quite a ways out there. He is quite a ways out there. All right, so we're going to have to take kind of a far shot on here because he's not going to come in anytime soon, I don't think. It looks like he stopped right there. He's very, very spooked. He's 214 out. And I don't know if we're going to get another chance, so we're going to have to get on him here as soon as he... Th oh my God, another one. A big one. Huge one right there. Where did he come from? I don't know where he came from, but that's the one we want. 118 to 177 on him. He's about the same size as the one that we had over there, I guess. So they're pretty much the same size. It looks like the big one is over there. You know, I kind of want to see if we can't get both of these. I really want to try and get this one out here. Oh, I think we let him a little bit too much. I don't know. It looked pretty good. But either way, we should be able to definitely get this one now coming across this field here if he comes out. All right, so luckily we just spotted the other one that took off in the field. He's out here at 150. I'm not sure how we did on the other one, but this one we're definitely going to get. Maybe not. Definitely hit him, but I don't know if that was good enough. Yeah, we didn't really get too much time to take that shot. He's about to go over that hill, and then we probably won't see him again. So we definitely got him hit a couple of times. There goes a wild boar running out in the middle of the field there. What time is it right now? Because all of a sudden there's all kinds of animals out here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and there's animals just everywhere. I really hope that we hit this big one over here. 
I know this one's hit really hard and he should yeah he's down right there all right good so that one's down I'm not sure what the uh, integrity will be on him but that's all right I really want to see if we find this one here or not so first we're gonna mark where this one was at here yeah right there and we're gonna go over here and go track down well at least I really hope we hit this one we had a pretty solid lead on but he was out there a little ways trotting I feel like it should have for sure hit him in the front shoulder and the fallow deer aren't that tough so it should bring him down flesh wound alright we found some blood so we did hit him I'm not sure how good of a hit it was and this was the big one so let's track him down at least I would imagine it might have been only front shoulder and that means we might have to put a finishing shot on him but who knows we got 75% on the second track here so we want to make sure we don't lose the first one they have, that we have hit as well bleed rate very low it's not looking like he's going down anytime soon alright so after a long time of tracking down this fallow we actually just got a call from him right up here That was one of the craziest glitches I've ever seen. Alright guys, so we tracked that fallow deer for a long time and I pretty much went all over the entire map. We hit him over here, he ran all the way, well you can see the whole map right there. Look how much we tracked him. All the way over there, kicked him up here, then he ended up actually backtracking all the way back this way, cut back, and pretty much started off somewhere in the same direction that he was at. I would imagine he might end up coming back right to where he was in the beginning. So we're going to check that in a second. But for now, we're going to pick up the shed of a fallow deer. And then we're going to head back over to where the other one is down. And we'll go take a look at him. Like I said, there's a chance the other one could be out there, but you never know. Alright, so we just came back and picked up the first fallow deer. Actually, this would have been the second one that we took a shot at. And it looks like there was some pretty decent blood over here. I saw over there, there were some pretty good spots, so I would imagine he was probably intestine hit. Maybe one shot would have brought him down, but at that point, we wanted to make sure we get him. So we're going to take a nice little screenshot of him, and then let's pick him up and see what he's going to score. He scores 132, and the first shot would have brought him down. It was a right lung shot. I just wasn't sure. It seemed like we had a pretty good hit on him, but I feel like the same shot we made on the other one, and it just didn't do the damage that I thought it was going to. I think we might have led that one just a tad bit too much and we probably caught shoulder blade and maybe hit like somewhere around here or something or maybe even hit like high up here and just missed the spine on him. But at least we got this one. He scored 132 and we got 929 cash for that. And we still have our consecutive harvest at 100% which is good. But the bad thing is this other one might bring it down a little bit. So either way, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my god, we found him. I can't believe it. We finally found our big male and we just put another hit on him. He's hammered now. So after so long of tracking him, I didn't think we were going to be able to find him. What happened is we went back and got the other one. Then we decided to come back all the way over here to see if we couldn't happen to track this one down. Luckily, I found another fresh track, and here he is down over here. All right, so we had a really solid hit on him, and I'm really looking forward to going over here and finding this big fallow deer. We have two hits in him now. It's definitely going to bring him down. I don't see why it went at least, so hopefully we can find him up here. Oh, my God, he's down right here. I can't even believe we finally found him. You have no clue how long it took to track this deer down. I was just to the point where it was about ready to be over. And look at these glitches going on here now. This happened before as well. This is the exact same one that we had hit. He's going to be a really nice one. A 140 plus probably. Maybe even 150 plus. I probably should have took a shot on this one first. But what happened is I saw the other one and I really wanted to get him. So let's take a nice screenshot of him. You can see he has a really wide paddle. I didn't realize he was that big. Probably should have just went for him in the first place and not even worry about the second one. But let's take a screenshot and let's pick him up. I'm just so happy we actually did find him. And here he is. He scores 145. I really want to know where that first shot hit. Right here. We hit him. He was 199 meters out. So that's one problem. Oh, look at that. We ranged him wrong. That would have been an absolutely perfect shot. Except for 
We reserved him for 150, and I thought he was like 150 to 200. Apparently, it dropped quite a bit at that range because if we were if we were zeroed in for 300, we would have hit right here, and it would have been a perfect spine lung shot. We would have had another gold, awesome fallow buck here, but we didn't quite have the right range on him. We didn't have time either because he was trotting, so we had a really good lead on him. That was good. We just didn't have the range right. Anyways, the second shot, we just made a nice uh, shoulder blade lung shot on him, and he scores 145, and we got 902 cash. But most importantly, we kept our harvest value at 100%. And we found this big fallow buck, and he didn't get away. All right, guys. Well, that's a really awesome way to end this video. So I think that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.